one and only Tiwa Savage. And uh, seated next to her are some of the sponsors. Before I introduce our special guest, we'd like to say thank you to our sponsors, Joe's Global on board. We'd like to say thank you to Talent Group of Africa, represented by Ali Alibai, Joe's Global, represented by Shay Shodimu. And uh, we also like to say thank you to Selfie Productions, Next Radio, MBS Television, New Vision, Mighty Rights, Sheraton Hotel Kampala, Pepsi Max, Hedge Marketing, and Tasker Premium Cider. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing not only a queen, but she's a singer, songwriter, actress, philanthropist, queen of Afrobits. Her milestones, which are many, by the way, include being the first African woman to sell out Indigo at the Auto Arena. That deserves a clap. Being the first African woman to represent Pepsi as a brand ambassador. Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming to Uganda for the second time, both of them for the second time. We have, <laughs> we have a queen, a doctor, she's savage. It is Miss Tiwa and her young king, Jabil. We're very happy to have you here. Welcome to Uganda, Jebale, or uh, how far? <laughs> Whichever feels more comfortable. And uh, for now, let's hear from some of our sponsors before we hear from Tiwa Savage. I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Uh, Ali Alibai to give us a word before we hear from Shay Shodimo from Joe's Global. Hey, good evening, guys. And uh, sorry for the delays on the press conference. And uh, it's great that you all are still here. And uh, super excited to have um, Tiwa Savage back here in Uganda. It's amazing. Uh, she was here last in 2015, five months pregnant, and she had the most amazing show, shoes off, dancing all over the stage. It was an amazing vibe. And uh, seven years later, she's here with Jamil. Um, it's just an amazing story and how it all came around, and it's, it's back again. We're super excited to be a part of this. Um, when Joss Global and Southfield reached out to us, to be a part of this event and you know put it together with them um, it was an amazing uh, thing for us to you know excite excitement that comes around with working with Tiwa again. She's a really humble artist, a great artist, and to see, I mean, the amazing progress that she's made from then to now is just um, something incredible. So as Hell in Africa, I mean, we're super um, excited to be a part of the event. Um, it's happening tomorrow. All roads lead, all roads lead to the Lugogo Cricket Oval. Um, People should get their tickets if they haven't got them yet. Uh, the gates open tomorrow at um, 4 p.m. So come through, get your tickets in advance so you avoid the lineups at the gates. And uh, we look forward to a great show tomorrow. Thanks. I like that. Uh, thank you, Ali. One more question for you. Uh, in 2015, we were able to sell out Kati Kati Lugogo. And the expectation for Stiwa coming back a second time around is high not just for us as fans, but what does that mean for you as an entertainment group, and what do you expect for this, from this family? I mean, um, Kati Kati was great, and now we're gonna sell out the Lugogo Cricket Oval, so yeah. I mean, it's uh, three or four times bigger, yeah. and I mean, she deserves a bigger show, and here, here it is tomorrow. Awesome. One more time for Ali Alibai, ladies and gentlemen. And now I'd like to invite from Joe's Global, uh, one of the people that made today possible, Shay. Shodimo, you're welcome. Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, my name is Shay Shodimo. And this, for me, is quite a long story, but I'm going to make it short. JOS Global is an outfit out of Nigeria. And the whole idea of doing this, first of all, I'm an artist. Uh, I'm a producer, I'm a promoter, and I'm an investor. Um, there's no better way to tell our story than us telling our stories. Um, it's very critical for us to be able to do what we do, and there's a reason for doing it because Afrobeats and that African music is in a place where if we don't own it and celebrate ourselves, nobody else would do it. And no better way to do it, when we came to Uganda, we had to go with the best. You know, that's why we reached out to my good friend here, Patrick, um, at South Hain, and also uh, Talent Africa. And when we decided to do it, we reached out to Tiwa Savage, and it was no problem to wanted to do it and we decided to go with the best because we know that 
She's the queen of Afrobeats for China, Sharatin. You have made this a lot easier. And I tell you, this, not, this will not be our last time here. We need to celebrate ourselves as Africans. We are Africans before we are anything else. So we, I want you to know that tomorrow is going to be a movie. It's going to be an event like you've ever seen. Um, we're going to celebrate our women the right way. And I hope you guys come out and do the same with us because we are not going anywhere. This is, this is our time to shine. And nobody's going to tell our story but us. Ooh, that's Thank powerful. You. Thank you so much. One more time for Shay Shadimo. As we get ready to hear from Miss Tiwa, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to remind you that once upon a time in 2013, she gave us Kele Kele love, and we loved her for it and so much more. And she keeps on giving. So make sure you check out her Water and Gari project. She's on her WAG world tour, and we're more than happy to be part of that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the queen of Afrobeats. Some call her mama, some call her Auntie Tiwa. We know her as Savage KLA, thanks to tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here she is, uh, Tiwa Savage, and welcome to Uganda. Um, can we hear from you? How was your journey? How's it going? Talk to us. Um, wow, well, it's, it's a long journey. Mm. Um, we we're still missing luggage. Yeah. <laughs> so um, as, as we speak, I don't actually have anything I'm wearing tomorrow, mm. but we're going to make it work. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably reach out to some um, well, designers out here. And, you know, mm -hmm. maybe it all works out for the best. So, yeah, we're gonna make it work. I like that. And I like that you always look out for women. So I know a couple of designers. I'll make some fun for you. Yes, Dress yes. Miss Tiwa, please. If they can right. make something in less than 24 hours. Yeah. Hi, it's Gandan Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> but the journey was um, long, interesting, but um, I'm super, super glad I'm here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like you said earlier on, the last time I was here, I was, I think I was actually close to seven months pregnant so, <laughs> with this little man. So um, on the way here, when I was explaining to him, he's like, Mommy, is that why I'm always dancing so much? <laughs> yeah, because I was dancing a lot yeah. <laughs> on stage. Um, I'm here with my crew. I'm here with my team. I'm just so honored um, to Ali, Shay, everyone for just choosing me, believing in me. Um, really really humbled to be here and i'm super excited that it's an all-female lineup um i think you know more and more people need to have that heart to do something like this you know i say this all the time anytime i'm given the opportunity everywhere around the world actually the female artists are actually probably the biggest artists when you think of people like Nicki minaj and rihanna and beyonce and adele and Tiwa. Right? <laughs> They're actually bigger than their male um, colleagues, you know. So um, I think it's time for Africa to, to wake up because we have so many, so many amazing female artists. Whenever, and whenever I'm given this opportunity to do something like this or to headline a show, it's never just about me um, because, you know, the pressure is on me. I need to make sure that we, or we need to make sure that we sell out that place tomorrow. I need to personally make sure that I give you a show like you have never, ever seen before. And promise, I promise you, I am going to do that. Mm. I always deliver in my most humble <laughs> opinion. But I'm doing that also so that the next time when you have an Ira star or whoever else that's going to come, they're going to do even bigger than what I've done. And that's, that's my goal, is that... You know, if I'm able to succeed and make this a success, the next female artist is only going to do so much better. So it's it's more than just coming here and performing to me. I'm coming here to kill it. I'm coming here to show you guys <laughs> that I have more hits than you probably even remember. Tomorrow is going to be a madness. I'm going to savage that stage up, and I want everyone to come out because. You will not be disappointed. Trust me, it's going to be. We're bringing, right? We're bringing the biggest vibe mm. tomorrow. It's going to be historical, iconic. I like that. So Ugandans are famously known for going for band nights. And uh, the fact that you carried your whole band yes. with you, that that is beautiful.
beautiful. It says a lot about your performance culture. It says a lot about what you want to give the people. Right. So tell us what that journey, becoming the artist that you be, you've become, you you literally represent us across the world. So we're looking at you all. Right. <laughs> so tell us what that journey has been like. Has it been a lot of pressure? Has it been, has it been a lot of fun? What can you tell the young artist dreaming to pull off something like you did? I mean, initially I couldn't afford to do something like this, but then I got to a stage where um, I put my foot down and I said, if I'm not performing with a band, I'm not performing. Promoters hate hearing that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's for the, it's, it, you know, it's, it's, for, it's for the fans, the people coming out. They deserve to hear me sing. They, otherwise, they can just put on their, you know, their Apple or Spotify or whatever, and they could just listen to a playlist. But they're coming to watch me perform. It's only right for me to to perform and I can only give them an experience when I have my my band there um, so yeah it's all live performance um, there's about I don't know how many of us traveled maybe 10 15 people yeah that's a lot of luggage to be <laughs> my own alone is 10 suitcases um, but yeah um, so it's 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 live band um, I'm, I'm gonna be singing my heart out Oh, we can't sure. wait. And you brought your heart with you. Yes. Um, can mm -hmm. we say hi to Javil? Hey, man. Hello. Hi. I like it. He's the opposite of me. He's really, really shy. Really? Your Very Instagram shy. looks different. Uh, it takes we us <laughs> 10 hours to take one picture. Uh, makes sense. So you, you talked about Apple, Spotify. Let's talk about playlists to put you on the spot a little bit. Which Uganda musicians feature um, on any of your playlists? Yeah, you're here. You're in that two five six. <laughs> we saw Navio, didn't we, recently? Nice. In, um, Stockholm. Yeah, we saw him. Um, I need to. I need to see more of the females. So that's why I'm here. I'm. I'm actually gonna go to the grounds early, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna watch every single performance. Um, and I would love to, to do a collaboration. So you know, I'm not one of those artists that's just gonna come on when it's you know my time to perform. Mm -hmm. I actually wanna come and watch every single female artist. And I, I heard there's female DJs as well. Yes, there's So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna come there early and watch every single person. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to answer this question because I wanna see everyone perform. Okay, uh, Carol Casita is around, Lamo is here, Laika is here, Sandra Subi. There is a collab looming. Did you hear that? Stand up, please stand up. Let watch me you guys. Yay! Yes. <laughs> And uh, I feel like the best part of what Tiwa said is she'll be dancing to your songs. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Y'all ready? No, I love you more. But I promise you, I, you know, I know, I know. Bambi de Motoswaza. Translation, don't embarrass us. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Miss T, were well, you one of the most decorated musicians I am into? Uh, I can't speak for other people, but you are really decorated, and not just with accolades for your music, but Wasoma, the direct translation is, you've read. <laughs> and uh, you're now a doctor, so just be clear, how do we introduce you? Queen Dr. Savage or uh, Dr. Tiwa, Dr. Queen Savage? Help us out there. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, it's still surreal to me. I yeah. was, um, yeah. I, uh, Talk I, about it a little bit. I don't know. Like, I said in my speech, you know, um, people who really follow Tiwa Savage will know that the story hasn't always been rosy um, for me. So, and that's not, it's not a bad thing because, you know, people don't want to follow people who have had just great lives. It's not realistic. Because, you know, you look at your life and you look at your struggles, and you know, if I'm coming here saying, you know, I got the first deal I wanted, I've never had anything bad, you know, my whole life has been great, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to inspire you. So, um, when I got that doctorate, you know, my dad being a typical African parent, was saying before I do music, I have to go to school, and he gave me five options. He said lawyer, um, doctor, you know, accountant. He counted five, and I, I picked yeah. business and accounts, right? Mm. And um, he passed away a couple of days to the day last year. So uh, he would have been so, so proud um, of that. But I say all that to say, you know, it's amazing that a university like Kent can recognize me 
um, and recognize my work and just recognize just Afrobeat to everyone else. Miss Tima, we have tried. <laughs> just give us three things that you've done in your career that you know for sure if somebody else did, they can make it too. Can I point out one, one of my favorites? Sure. You always speak up. Tiwa Savage will always speak up. It doesn't matter whether she gets in trouble with in trouble with Beyonce or ah. other people. Tiwa always shares her story, shares her, with her fans. She replies to messages. And for me, a person who speaks out and doesn't keep their story or their life to themselves, that's powerful. Thank you. Thank you. It gets me in trouble a lot. But thank you. Um, I don't know if I have three. I think I have just one. And that's just never give up. As cliche as it may seem. I'm sure you guys are not 42, so um, I'm 42, and I'm still doing this. I started very late in my music career, so I mean, if that doesn't inspire you, I don't know what else will. But I'm 42, mm. and I'm bad. Oh, I hope some of us Ugandans will pick up on that. The it's, rest of us, I, I can't even hide it because all the time they call me to book my flights. If I try to hide it, all the all the promoters will expose me by now. <laughs> I'm sure my passport is flying around everywhere, but yeah, so just, I just never give up. I don't care if you are married, if you are single parent, or you don't have kids, or you're going to school first. I don't care. The only thing I will tell you is never give up. Mm, powerful. Never. The never stop. Thank you. I want to, first of all, share my condolences to you. May your father's soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm. And you're welcome to Uganda. You, I know this being a closed date, it's a bit of a sensitive time. So you're welcome here. Thank you. The last time you were here, what would you say was your favorite delicacy? I'm pretty sure they tried to introduce you to Rolex, Julie, Luombo. There's many things they could try to put, put you on. So what would you say you ate that you liked? I didn't even try. I, I was literally here for less than 24 hours. Ali, Ali, bye. Right? The audacity. Literally had, and then I felt sick. <laughs> I felt sick after my performance. I oh, have pictures, sorry. my legs were so swollen. Mm. So I felt I felt really sick. We had to leave immediately after, yeah. so I didn't even get a chance. So maybe, and we're even leaving right after tomorrow. There's always time to eat, so maybe make today, it happen. Can yeah. you recommend something for us? Ha, Sheraton Kampala. Do you have a, a tokebo beze with like, you know, luombo, vinyewa, and ginats? What can your chef whip up? <laughs> The chef does uh, very good uh, Ugandan food. Nice. Yeah. I like that. You Thank should, you, Tima. You should try the Rolex. The Rolex? Yeah, Rolex you would love. Yes, sir? My partner? Yeah. I mean, the person you came with. Oh, wow. I didn't mean it like that. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Colleague, colleague. Oh, it's it's awesome. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll see you on the blog. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, wrong choice of words. Colleague in the business. This, this man right here, they call him Jay Breezy. He's a shutdown king. The number one hype man in the world, not just Africa. He's my right hand man. Anyone who doesn't have a hype man is on a long thing. He is more than a hype man, actually. He's an entertainer. And he will be entertaining you guys tomorrow. So let me welcome the number one. Jay Breezy. Come on now. Jay Breezy. See my Swiss rules now. Sample them. Uh, but Uganda, you already know, best believe that the queen is in the building. We've been on the road for about 14 weeks now. And for every single show, we've been giving them 100%, two hours packed performance. So Uganda definitely will not be left out. And we've been waiting for this show for so long. And now we're here. We, bring, we brought all the whole vibe. Every single member of the band is here. And tomorrow we're gonna kill it. You guys come out. America already saw it, Europe saw it. So it's time for Africa to shine. Yes. And we're gonna shine bright, right? Good to hear from you, Jay Breezy. I've sold a good dream. We shall keep. Trust me, it's a good dream. Like some of us are leaving the shoes at home. Yeah. We're, yes, com no we're coming the way to a dance the last time. Yeah. Take a from the no shoes. Can I wear no shoes? Can I have no shoes? Please. Yeah. Always. You're welcome. Will Jabil be joining you on stage? Uh, 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 he'll, be, he'll be sleeping. Uh, so let me ask before I release you. Are you an African African mom? Or you're an African mom? No, I'm an African African mom. Sis. <laughs> 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 
Yes. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much, Tiwa Savage. Ladies and gentlemen, Tiwa Savage will be on stage tomorrow with amazing Ugandan musicians. You've got Winnie Nwaji, Vinka, Kamro Kasita, Laika, Lamo, Sandra Subi, DJs Alicia, DJ Zato. It's going to be beautiful. All female. And I'm very happy that you could come out tonight and uh, celebrate the fact that we have a queen doctor. <laughs> coming to the stage and yeah i'd like to say thank you to the partners one more time thank you jk thank you this is my fourth time coming here so it won't be our last obviously um africa is is next and um with people like uh, patrick and ali i think the sky's the limit i mean we're ready thank you very much for having us Man, on stage, I saw Karo Kasita taking notes, I'm like, yeah? So this is good when, when, because um, when you see someone like her exposed, she's doing Europe, America, and her being here, and what she's telling her story, and you guys are picking up. And uh, as Pepsi, you know, she's our ambassador, and uh, best friend as well, Wizkid. And uh, as Pepsi, even going back um, many, many years ago, we saw the Nigerian bubble that was going to burst, and realized that it's gonna be massive. We brought Peace Square to Uganda, Pepsi. They had one song, This Temptation. We promoted them and now they're super, superstars. Not just them, as Pepsi, you know, it's music. We kept on bringing the Nigerians. And when you speak to a Nigerian superstar, they'll tell you Uganda is a vibe. Just last week we had uh, Gold, again Pepsi. This week we have, next week we have Kiss Daniels. So. Uh, as much as Ugandan, Ugandans love you, you talked of a collab. I promise, not just a collab, but also inviting them to perform with you in Nigeria. Salvador is a big star because he has a godfather called Basket Mom. They take him for shows in Nigeria. I'd love to see you go with Shiba, with Karo, to your Nigerian show and say, hey, we have a collab. Let me introduce to you. Shiba, let me introduce you to Winnie. This is my sister from Uganda. If you do that for us, as Pepsi, we shall always, you know, support you. Yeah. I just want to say now, it's done deal, as long as Pepsi, you guys cover all our logistics. We're there, right? Yeah! yeah. yeah. So Pepsi, Pepsi covers our logistics, we're good. <laughs> Let's get the collab first. Let's get that collab. And, and the good thing, our artists, you, you pay them with exposure. Yeah. Yeah. Can we touch, uh...